that's always the question huh? was ignorance bliss because now that i am in touch with myself i have to go through all these emotions I have to go through all these feelings I have to go through all these body sensations which were all blissfully unaware of i was caught up in nice storytelling in my life and now i have to face all of this and that's the cost of knowing yourself that's the cost uh, but that's the initial cost it's it's all in the in initial phases because when we start in when i say initial it could mean a few years uh, we are talking about lifetime of practices but it could it, the more initial the, the it is definitely more uh, apparent in the initial stages because you realize that the body's energy is uh, all over the place there are parts of your body that really require you to look at them you, you are realizing that there is a there is a point in your head where you store stress you are recognizing that which you never recognized if you don't recognize this okay and you continue to store stress there that's how physical disease manifests in those areas after a while they have to start talking to you as a symptom not as a subtle symptom but as a gross symptom right now it's a subtle symptom which is becoming coming to your mind in meditation when you don't pay attention to subtle symptoms they become gross they become apparent they become manifest and that's how disease occurs that's how psycho uh, uh, disease occurs when it is psychosomatic in nature when we say psychosomatic illnesses it's because we have never been in touch with subtle and then they have to become gross because the dis the, the dysregulation in the body is going on over years and months so now that you recognize it you can support it keep a hand on it see what it needs in fact ask that area ask it even ask it now and just let it talk don't talk with your mind just let that area speak back to you it does i mean body does speak back it's a little bit of a um you need to wait and listen but your body will tell you what it needs ask what do you need me to do it will tell you it will tell you put your hand on it it will tell you i want to whatever it will say walk it will say just bend down bend forward i mean i don't know what it will say it will say something and then you do that and support it and that's called supporting subtle uh, sensations in the body so while the meditative people will say watch it and for, and just watch it watch it watch it watch it and it will go like that also it's not that it will not it will when you look at pure meditation they will say just watch don't get involved just watch 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 and that itself creates healing watching but in our case sometimes it's overwhelming to be able to just sit through watch pain watch pain watch pain watch pain is not easy so as a therapist as a somatic therapist i am giving you one more little intervention which is okay you can support after some time when you're able to watch you come to the place where you watch so you little bit you can support that's it but don't get involved in fixing it it's talking to you listen to it so uh